Zealand as there are no more Nova Woodruning chucks left in the country. People line up for hours only to be disappointed when told the grim news. We don't know when new shipments will arrive, or if at all. Some Woodruners are going to extremes to find a solution to the crisis. Welcome back. Yes, it's true. In New Zealand, we've run out of wood turning chucks. Well, in particular, the technical Nova wood turning chucks. There were large purchases before the tariffs came to the US, and that left no available chucks that could be purchased in New Zealand. So once the companies that stock these chucks had run out, then that was pretty much it. I have three chucks here. These are Supernova chucks from Technotool. Very nice chuck, quite expensive here in New Zealand, but good quality. I have two with 50mm jaws and one with a 100mm jaws on it. And if you're asking the question, why do you have so many chucks? Well, in reality, this is not many chucks at all, to be honest. Some wood turners have 20 chucks. And the reason is because it takes time to swap out jaws and they would prefer to have chucks already set up with different types of jaws and then they can just wind them onto the lathe and use them straight away. This here is a set of 25 millimeters or one inch jaws and I want to put them onto this chuck here. So take the 100 millimeter jaws off. And that's because I've had these 100 millimeter jaws on here for around a year and a half and I've used them once. However, these 1 inch or 25 millimeter jaws, I get more use out of them because they're used to make wig stands that we donate to the companies that help people with uh, cancer and stuff like that. So I make more wig stands than what I make large bowls. So it makes sense to put these smaller jaws on this chuck. Now the 50 mil jaws are very common and that's why I have two chucks with 50 mil jaws. I'm going to leave them on this chuck. However, this chuck here, I'm going to do something a bit special and change it completely. The first job I do is remove all of the 100mm drawers from this chuck. Over the years, there's been many chucks made by Technotool, and this one here is a Supernova 2, so we tighten the jaws up by turning the chuck key clockwise, and we loosen the jaws off by turning it anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. That will become important a little bit later. The older chucks have numbers on the slides here, one, two, three, four going around, and you would typically grab your jaw, you'd find the number on the jaw, bit hard to see in this video, but there are some dots here, and then that would go onto that particular slide, and you put them all on in sequential order there. Now, because the older chucks tighten up counterclockwise, that's the way you put the order of the jaws on the chuck. And on this particular chuck, we're going clockwise because we tighten the chuck up clockwise. I'm looking for number one. Because it's a small 25mm or 1 inch jaw, there's only one screw that holds it on. And basically all of the jaws are screwed on to the slides in the correct order. We don't tighten the jaw screws up tight at this point and we can wind in the jaws now and these jaws should all close in and match and be perfect. If you have jaws in the wrong place you will likely have some gaps and you'd have to rectify that before tightening up the screws. I now have the 25mm or 1 inch jaws all set, that's good. I'm going to leave these 50mm jaws on here. And then we're going to do something special with this chuck. Since there's a shortage of chucks in New Zealand and we don't know when we're going to get more into New Zealand, I'm going to retrofit this chuck with a quick change jaw system. We start off with these special slides here and underneath the jaws here I'd have to remove the slides, the existing ones, and put these slides in. Once they're in, then I've got all these other jaw systems here and they have quick releases on them so that they can clip on to these slides. It's a brilliant system that never took off, which is unfortunate, but I'm going to try it out and we'll see how we go. A quick disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Technotool. I've gone out and purchased all of these parts myself with my money. Now, one of the reasons why it didn't really take off was because of the expense. 
you could buy an infinity chuck which has the special slides in it and all the jaws clip onto it and can be removed easily and changed but that infinity chuck was quite expensive and the jaws and accessories were quite expensive as well so that's possibly why it didn't take off however i've bought these parts here and they were on a special because they're just trying to get rid of the stock since these are not made anymore so i was quite lucky in that respect and some of these jaws here i bought for under the cost that the company bought them for so for this exercise it's turned out a lot cheaper for me than it would if it was normal retail the first thing we need to do is to remove the 50 millimeter jaws here now there is a circ clip on the back here or they call it a snap ring in america make sure you cover it with your other hand so it doesn't fling across the room now we need to remove this plastic cover and i found putting a little screwdriver in the corner here keep it away from the right hand side and just pry it up comes off pretty easy the pinions are pushed out very easily here and then the scroll gear is removed now I'm taking out one of the slides to look at what number it is and it's number four here the other one next to it is number one so I just want to make sure that I put everything back together the right way I mark it on here with a twink pen so I can remove that later on if I need to then those slides are removed from the chuck and off camera I clean out where the slides go in on the chuck itself I've unpackaged the new slides I'm a bit confused here because my chuck was numbered counterclockwise but the instructions say to do it clockwise so I'm going to do it the way the instructions say and put them all in clockwise it does seem a bit odd though once all the slides are in you want to make a little square in the center then the chuck is flipped over the other way And you want to keep the little square in there when you have it upside down as well now i had a lot of trouble trying to put the scroll gear in it was supposed to just slip down and engage with those slides but it wouldn't do it and i mucked around with it and i just couldn't get it in there in the end i changed the slides to be fitted counterclockwise and this just fits in very very easily and i did this several times and it was so simple so the jaws in my mind are supposed to go that way i don't know why the instructions said the other way pinions can go back in i'll do a little bit of a test with the chuck key and then the plastic piece on and the circ clip goes back on as well and then i test out the slides I've also unpackaged the jaws here and cleaned them up in some acetone and they'll be fitted on to here. I'm putting the same number jaws onto the same slides. And this is pretty simple to do. Well, not when you're fidgeting around like that. Then I test it out, wind it into the middle and that looks pretty good here you can see the difference between the new jaws and the old jaws and there's a massive amount of material on the new jaws and when I tilt it up on the side you can see that the side is also a lot thicker on the new jaws as well so let's test it out on a couple of bits of wood so tighten that up there I turn it half a turn and tighten up the other one that looks pretty good runs pretty good as well I have another piece of wood here you can tell the spigots a little bit bigger because there's a bigger gap in the jaws but equally that works fine so how do we change out the jaws and how long does it take well let's get into it first of all you've got to unwind the chuck fully then use the pin on the handle to push in this little pin for each of the slides and then the jaws can be taken off like that new jaws go on these are 100 millimeter jaws so same thing push in the pin jaws slides in and then release the pin and it's locked into place 
Now, a little bit fidgety on this one. You've got to get a little bit used to this, but um, yeah, this time sort of ran out a little bit. But look at that, 40 seconds and you've changed your jaws. You didn't have to take the chuck off the lathe. Fantastic. All right, let's switch them back. 100 millimeter jaws off and 50 millimeter jaws back on. And you can see as each time I do this, I'm getting a bit more used to it and things go a little bit faster. Number two. Number three. And number four. 24 seconds to change the jaws. I'm happy with that. I wanted to get a range of jaws since they were on a special price. But because it was end of sale, I couldn't get everything. But this is what I did get. This one here is jaw number one, or bowl jaw one, 16 to 33 millimeters. Bowl jaw two, 31 to 48 millimeters. Bowl jaw three is on the chuck, that's 46 to 63 millimeters. I couldn't get the next bowl jaw up, so I bought the sawtooth jaw, 63 to 80 millimeters. And then we have bowl jaw five, which is 76 to 93 millimeters. And lastly, this is a smooth column jaw. This does 12 to 29 millimeters. So I basically got a full range of jaws at pretty reasonable price, which I'm pretty happy with. And they're quick change, so that just makes things a lot more easier. After playing around with these for quite a while, I thought this was such a good system that I decided to buy a new set of slides and a new set of number three jaws or the 50 mil jaws and put those on my other chuck. So now I have two chucks that can take all of these jaws and they can be swapped out pretty quickly. Well, that concludes this video. I may make an update video in a few months or so to see how these jaws are going. But other than that, I hope everyone has a great day. And once again, thanks for watching.